Welcome back to Titanium Hangar. This is Mike. Today I want to talk to you about G.I. Joe Classified stuff. And I'm going to talk about a lot of G.I. Joe Classified stuff. Some of these most recent reveals. Why I'm passing on pretty much everything that just went up for pre-order at BBTS. It's literally everything that BBTS put up for pre-order I'm passing on. But I am going to be picking up a lot of other good stuff along the way. But I'm going to tell you why I'm passing and that, yes, I will pick them up at a much cheaper price. We'll be going into all of that. Then uh, I'm going to talk about what I'm really excited for. Some of this stuff didn't make my news. It was later that these pictures came out and were available for me to talk about in my Sunday news. So I'm going to talk about them now, tell you what I'm excited about. And so I'm sort of split about half the stuff that's coming I'm not even interested in. And then the other half I'm really excited about. So let's talk about this. And then I've also got some other details about some older items that are sort of reasonably available, reasonable prices. And yes, I know some people can say they found better deals, but I'm going to show you a few deals in this also coming up. All right, so we're going to start out with just talking about some of these things I did talk about on Sunday, but I'm going to go into a little more in depth on my reasoning behind why I'm not picking them up, but the parachute trooper guy does look cool. And if the parachute actually does work, you can throw him in the air and it descends slower. That's really cool too. Comes with a lot of gear, but he's 35 bucks, I believe. And we'll see this. I do have a picture that has the price list. And so that is very important. Really important, especially in 2024, going into 2025, we need to kind of watch budgets and stuff for the vast majority of collectors. And I will be passing on this. Not that it's not cool. Not that the whole idea behind it isn't cool. But if I do, again, see this one on sale, and you're going to hear me say it a lot, then I'll pick it up. It'll be a pickup only on sale. It's not a high priority for me at all. And I do think it's a good idea. I think it is something that's cool. But couldn't they still have made this and hit the $25 price point? I think they could have. Next is the sniper, and I said I wasn't going to pick her up, even though it's pretty cool. And I do have people that say they're excited for this. Got a female sniper, decked out with a whole lot of equipment there, and then got the ghillie suit, and yeah, cool stuff that she comes with, but not for me, not something I'm really needing to get, especially for the price point. I do understand they're making this, um, it's not quite a deluxe, it's sort of a mid-price range, but a lot of stuff's hitting there. Like, almost everything they revealed is hitting at the $35 price point from SDCC. Now I'm pretty sure we're going to get standard waves always, and that's going to be the bigger hitter figures and characters anyway, but with this, people are some people are loving this sniper. It is pretty cool. She can hold the gun the proper way, so it does look really good overall, but uh, no, sniper's not for me. Unless I see her on sale, I'd pick her up. Uh, next, we're going to get into an old classic that's no longer classic. Now there's a lot of different angles to this that <laughs> not talking about the way you fold the wings angles but versus the finish now i don't like the look of this i don't like the aesthetic of this in fact i would prefer a vintage now the retro maybe it's going to be made into a retro maybe we get a retro if that happens i'd be very happy with a retro and i would just wait and get a retro one but if I see this on sale, that'd be great. We've seen this already before. We saw this with the Snow Trooper. Snow Trooper came out, decked out, and I didn't like the first Snow Trooper. The retro one looks phenomenal. It looks amazing. It's exactly what I want. And it's only the $25 price point, not the $35 price point. And I think we're going to start seeing more trends like this. So when this gets made to retro, have maybe a cloth goods sort of well, I'll say cape wings, but in my mind, I always looked at uh, Raptor as being one that's going to uh, glide down like a gliding suit versus having an engine-powered jetpack. So uh, I would prefer the vintage. I, I had the vintage figure back in the day. I, I wasn't really excited about it the first when I first got it, but after having it for a while and just kind of thinking about the whole concept of the figure... I thought it was pretty cool, and I would like to get it in a retro. Didn't really show off the glamour shots, which I think the glamour shots, the, the photographer does a phenomenal job, and it does look good in that regard. I could see this, though, with the right colors and with the right cape, making an excellent retro one. Showing all the things that can be done, how you fold the wings around, 
with these new ones. This is more of a mechanical one, but anyway, let's get into the next one, Road Pig. I was not at all impressed with Road Pig, and I know he's getting a lot of negativity, and I'll say it again, if he's just some random, let's, let's call him Bubba in a Mad Max show, great, perfect. Road Pig, not a good Road Pig, in my opinion, and I don't really like that. Now, I know he's going to be a bigger, beefier figure. You know he's going to have a higher price point. I could have done without the animal and just had the $35 price point, but people are going to like the animal, I guess, and, you know, I think the community split on this. 50-50. Some people love this road pig. They feel like he should be a bigger, beefier, flabbier dude. And then some people are kind of like me and just feel like it doesn't match the original character. Now, I always remember the first one being beefier, like beefy as in uh, muscle and muscular. And then again, Diego Classified does have a way of bringing it into a modernization. And I understand that. But will we get this guy in a retro well, we get them even in retro. I'm still really not going to be happy with it. I mean, they need an all new head sculpt, all new uh, torso in the midsection. But, you know, it's possible to put an updated midsection torso in there. I mean, there's a lot more I would like done to make it look more like the retro if they were going to make this in a retro. But sadly, I feel like it's a miss still, but I will pick it up on sale. And I've got some stuff to show here in a bit. I'm starting to see a trend with these deluxe packs with animals they don't seem to be selling that well and i would think mutt and junkyard is like a must-have for all joe collectors all classified collectors and i could see classified collectors paying the extra money to make sure they got a mutt and junkyard but yet he was sitting shelf forming at targets for months and then target clears them down to like 12 bucks some ridiculously no number low low number uh to 12 bucks an amazing figure they did a great job with this but I'm seeing the road pig and people not liking it. I could see that going to Ollie's for 12 bucks. And I could also, I don't know, I just got my Naga hide from Target and uh, those sold too fast. So I'm, I'm not sure if the next, when they replenish it, if it's going to shell form ever, but that was a great figure. But with it, I see a lot of these that have pets with them in the deluxe $45 price point sitting and maybe later this year, even hitting Ross and Ollie's. Now I want to show this picture, everything at BBTS to pre-order, the 60th Anniversary uh, Marine Sniper, the Dreadnought Road Pig, the, with Ruckus, Ruckus, the Jumper, Halo Jumper figure, the Raptor figure, they're all 35 and above, even the repaint of Sergeant Slaughter, 35 bucks and above, or 45 bucks. I didn't pre-order none of this, and I'm not going to pre-order any of this. I'm going to roll the dice, catch it on sale, or just live without forever until they come out with a retro version. And uh, even then, if they don't come out with a retro version, I'm moving on because I don't care. This isn't made for me. It's not what I want. And if it's what you want and you're happy with the price, then I'm happy for you. Now, for 55 bucks, I'm in on three of these. This is one of the things I'm excited for. This, we're going to get this. Uh, the, the claw here, uh, we, we still need the fang, we still need a few other things. I'm, I'm ultra satisfied with the Trouble Bubble. I got five of them now. Love the Trouble Bubble. Love it, love it, love it. And it's ingenious. It was ingenious in the 80s into the 90s to make small, cheap, $5 price point, $6 price point vehicles that work with your figures that your figures can interact with. And they're in the show a lot. So there's something you see in every show multiple times that they're using a lot and it's cheap and you can have it and you can be part of the show so smart from a marketing standpoint the price is right the desirability is there the coolness factor is there this is awesome it comes with a female uh, pilot driver I don't have anything against that but I, I would have rather had a Viper or something else along those lines but I mean that's just me if it, it just my wish fulfillment I do love how the landing gear, it all retracts in all the way. It looks fantastic. I, I missed this. I didn't talk about this in my news, but this is one of my favorite things. I will, when they go pre-orders go up, I'm pre-ordering three. And then I'll do that other thing I did with Trouble Bubble and wait and see if I catch a few more on sale. But this is another one of those things that's really amazing. I used to be a three of everything I ordered and bought, but now it's one and maybe none, as you can see. But this thing is good enough to have three. But uh, really, 
really liking the claw and then we get into this next one here now this is the leather neck and it makes sense I mean, i'm definitely in on a leather neck uh at the 25 dollar price point we'll pre-order this one when the pre-orders go up and he looks good from the render we don't really know exactly what it's going to look like till it shows up but yeah i i think he's fine i think he looks great he's going to fall right in line with what i would expect and it's it's kind of another solid evolutionary step in G.I. Joe. I don't think he's going to sell ridiculously well, though. I mean, that's just my belief. I think it's going to be another one that we might catch sells on, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm going to go in on the stuff I want at the full price, and if I get a second one down the road to open or something, then, you know, that's going to happen. Next up, they did like a, a render reveal of Xandar. I think Xandar is, is it's amazing. They're doing all these dreadnoughts, and then they, they mentioned a couple other dreadnoughts I didn't remember. Uh, someone was saying along the lines, but I don't know if that was official people were talking about or if that was just side talk. But anyway, uh, they're, they're knocking out Dreadnoughts left and right. And I'm in on all of them. I will eventually get a road pick for cheap, but reluctantly because only if it's on sale. But I'd pre-order this when it comes up. I do like that everything about it. Now, this is one I would expect to get a retro treatment. And the reason why is that it does look like a big departure from the vintage toy. I would absolutely love one with the same color scheme. I mean, it's it's goofy and wonky. And by the way, he's got the version one classified Duke, <laughs> the knee pads, the gold knee pads that everybody hated on Duke, the first Duke that went around. And now this is, he's got this on the vintage figure. It's so cool, so interesting. But the fact that I the, the blue is being replaced with kind of a gray, it's not as bright and colorful. They did say something like it's the same color for the scarf as you got with Zorana, but at the end of the day, when I when I see the vintage one is what I I remember and what I think of this character the most, and it's a departure. But it's a departure and it still looks good. But I am holding out hope for a retro version. I, the weapons accessories, I think they're all right. They sort of match the vintage, except for the backpack is way different. I don't know how I feel about that, but retro, we get it all right. I hope. This is what I think they're calling the Twilight Guard 2-pack, and I don't have much of anything to say about this, but I'm not interested in this at all. It is a double Troop Builder Troop Pack, but for me personally, I just don't care, and I didn't actually buy the first go-around of these. Was it Still Brigade? I didn't buy that. And uh, I'm just, uh, if I catch them on sale, I might. But this is where I, I guess it shows I'm not a 100% completist. I'm not a completist anymore, and uh, they took that away from me, and I just don't see the point of being a completist to buy stuff that you're not excited about or into. And that's how I am going forward. Now I am excited about this. They say August 5th. So I'm just put, put it down August 5th and 6 p.m. Central. I'm thinking that's 5 p.m. For, uh, for the premium members. So I'll be in front of my computer ready to order at 5 p.m. Logged in with a smile on my face. And I hope it doesn't turn into... A disaster and if it is a disaster well I won't be happy about that but that's what people are saying August 5th I don't know where people got that number from where the information come from but it's floating around and that's what people are saying so I'm just going to relay that but if it's any earlier it's not my fault I had nothing to do with it that's just the word on the street okay so starting to hear a little bit of talk about the no picture but name only reveals and we're looking at retro style rock and roll now i'm assuming it's going to be version one but it looks to me like this figure and i always felt this way this figure is a mix of one and two to keep them interesting but if you're going to make them super super g1 or vintage retro going with the version one on the left is probably the route they're going to go but there's a possibility they go with the version on the right i don't know uh but just the gear he was packed with and the fact that uh, he's more like the version one, I assume they're going with the version one, but they could surprise us. They could do two versions. I don't know. I really don't. Be interesting to see how that comes out. Next, we're talking about a vintage retro version of Dr. Mindbender, but I have to say this. They nailed it the first time. Like It is a really good figure, and even with the fact that it is a little bit modernized it's a little bit different they they were true to the source material people were very happy with it and i'm very happy with it 
So to get a retro one, what's the difference going to be? What are they going to make it to be more retro other than just less accessories? So that will be interesting to see what they do because they've already done such a good job with it in the first place that uh, I just don't know how they could improve on it. Uh, maybe just like a little bit of paint apps on the boots and a little more paint apps in other places. I don't know. I really don't know. It's just they've done a good job just putting it out for 25, less accessories, and slight different paint apps, slightly brighter colors maybe. I, I guess that's all they really could do. Oh, oh, getting the Cobra symbol printed on the cape. And the Viper, the Viper, uh, I gotta say this, this was for me personally a huge problem for collecting. And when it first was announced, I just checked my targets, I could never find it. I wasn't too worried about it, I figured it'd show back up. Uh, it was well over a year later that they did the G.I. Joe June that they made them where they were easy to get and I still couldn't order them. In fact, it took my wife a half an hour of trying. She stuck with it while I gave up, and she got me one. And then I bought my friend's collection for a grand. It had six of them in it. So I was satisfied with the Viper then. But, I mean, the hurdles I had to go through to get my hands on Vipers was insane. It was a ridiculous amount of work. And now we're going to get a retro one. <laughs> it's kind of like a... every. It's just weird. It's it's. I never want to overpay for a figure again, which I I did, but I didn't. Uh, it was a pain unloading the rest of his collection to try to break even on it to just keep my vipers and stuff. But uh, was fun now getting this in a retro. But what's the difference that it's going to make? And yeah, this figure caused a lot of people, including myself, to reconsider even going forward with GI Joe Classified. Speaking of. Viper, Alley Viper. I never picked this up, and I just was thinking, man, how many different versions are they going to make? But I would like a red one. I really would. Now, you can get them for $27 to $29 directly from Walmart.com. And um, just go to Walmart.com and you can find it. I th I'll try to link it down below. I do not have any affiliate uh, relation with Walmart. I do not like Walmart when ordering classifieds or anything from Walmart. I really hate ordering anything from Walmart.com. I don't mind buying it in the store. You know, you're right there. But Walmart, I've got a lot of complaints about it. But this is a cool figure. If you missed it, 27 bucks or something. You remember to get to 35 36 so that you get free shipping on your stuff. So I'll probably just buy two of these and get my free shipping. But uh, I've been holding out on it, hoping for an even better deal. But that's the best I've seen in a while on this. I'm sure if you know a better deal, you'll put it in the comments below. The only thing I ordered from Hasbro was from Walmart, and I ordered G.I. Joe Classified stuff from Walmart, and this got canceled. So I, I, I'm not happy with Walmart. I mean, I got to tell you, I didn't order anything else. I ordered Super 7 stuff from Super 7, and I pre-ordered a few things, um, which is Super 7 stuff from BBTS. That's it for all of SDCC for me. That's everything SDCC for me. And they canceled this. So I'm not buying it. If I, I'm, I'm not going out of my way to get it. I don't really need it. Now that I think about it, I'm glad they did. I saved me 42 bucks and screw you. You know, that's the way I feel when this crap happens. Walmart. And, uh, you know, I'm not angry. I'm not mad. And I'm, it's kind of like, I guess I didn't really need it because I'm not mad or angry. I'm just like, screw them. They lost my money. As I was looking into the mutt and junkyard situation i was like what else is at target now these are on sale these are normal price except for <laughs> the the cobra island uh what is that roadblock the target exclusive now it's it's 18.99 i think the original price was 19.99 so that's a dollar cheaper but all these are available there's a few others that are available they're all still full price but the good thing is if you buy with the red card then you've got four months to return it. So if there's a sale or whatever, you could rebuy it on sale and then return your receipt. I know it's a lot of work, but it's what I do these days to make collecting affordable. And I got two more things to share. I This is stuff that just came in at BBTS, just started showing up at BBTS. How do I know? Because I pre-order through BBTS, and that's how I get my stuff. Yes, I pay a buck more for them, but it ensures I get it. It's all in one spot. 
and if I decide to cancel it, like I actually canceled my uh, one of these dreadnoughts I found in the wild. So it, I got it a couple bucks cheaper, saved me some money, and it's not a big deal. And they, they don't really, it's like a hassle free cancellation on most of their stuff. So I promote BBTS, even though, of course, I'm not affiliated with them either. Lastly, as of this recording, the Rattler, and this is the best way to get a picture of it and still show uh, what's going on with the backers. 12,213 12, backers, which is well over the target, but not to the second or third tier yet. We've unlocked the hatches, but... That's where it's at. I'm sure it's going to blow away all the tiers. It's pretty much guaranteed. And uh, I'm going to order mine later on. I just haven't placed my order yet. I know psychologically it doesn't matter. You can place it and it won't charge you till then. But it's a psychological thing to overcome through 325. And uh, I also have to say that this is priced well. But I'm not buying several of these anymore. And I think a lot of people are in that same pocket that used to order several. Or ordering instead of three, two... Or instead of three, only one. So to sum it all up, it's a mixed bag. I really feel like all the reveals we've seen, the ordering is a mixed bag. And that Cobra Commander, once a man, is going to be sort of another one of those make or break it for a lot of people. I could see people missing out on it, dumping their collections. And I could see other people, of course, paying 90. I saw one sell for 90. I saw one sell for 150. So, I mean, there's a crazy range of prices on those but let me know what you guys think about this was any of this video helpful to you and uh, like and subscribe Tidy hanger out